this is the only fog shader you're ever going to need in blender let me try to create it it's free it's easy i'm not going to charge you anything because it would be criminal of me to charge you for something that's this easy to create so let's jump into blender let me show how to do it and how to use it okay so here we've got a scene there you can see not much going on and if i go yeah you can see it looks fine but we want to add a little bit of like fog and that kind of stuff so let me show you how to use this and the settings that i believe will be the best okay so what you can do is go yeah bring this back now you can either go shift a add a uv sphere or a cube completely up to you works the same way i like to go with cube so cube then go s and scale it up so what you want to do is cover the whole scene okay so if you go to your camera view and i go like this yes you want to be able to see the scene again so keep going keep going keep going okay perfect okay so like i said you want to cover the scene if you go like this like that that's perfect okay go back to camera view now if i go like this it looks a bit funny so if I do this you can still see the cube so what you want to do is go yeah to shading make sure this is selected go to shading click new go to camera view okay now delete this go to shift a then type in volume so you get either volume scatter or principal volume now you have to go with this one principal volume select it then plug the volume to the volume okay now let's zoom in now this is the density so this is what you want to play with so you want to bring it to 0 0.5 got a rendered view you can see it's too dark okay so let's bring it down 0.1 and look how much nicer that looks okay you can play with this the anastropy so you can see what it does if i zoom in watch here okay and there it's it's, it's concentrated more here on the light whereas here it's not as much you can see you can just play around with it normally i leave it at around about there but you can just mess around with that and you can see how much better that looks i hide this too bright looks funny and that just gives it a nice kind of haze fog that's what you're looking for and this doesn't just work for dark scenes let me show you a quick example you can see here yeah, if I do this, add this, look at the, look at that nice sun rays that are coming through here, and it's created with the cube. So if I hide this, you can see it looks boring, but if I bring this cube back, give it time to load, you can see the sun rays coming through. And all that is is just a simple volume cube. So it adds nice fog haze to your scene sun rays so it doesn't just have to be a dark scene it can be a daytime scene show you one more example so you can see yeah simple scene looks okay and then just a simple volume cube just adds that nice rays so you don't need to go and buy easy fog add on all that kind of stuff simple volume principal volume shader and you're good to go it looks amazing you can adjust it if you want more density 0 0.1 you can play with anastropy make more so you can see creating more i'll bring it this way it's creating less okay you can see it better with this example there's more rays and then it does less 
basically. So I know this was a quick video, but I thought I would save you money and frustration. Just use the simple principle volume shader and you will have amazing work with nice cinematic fog, glow, haze, rays, whatever you want to add. It's great. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and feel free to check out another one of my videos.